Boa noite. O café está na moda em Macau. Estão a abrir mais cafés e também cursos sobre café. É o tema da reportagem alargada desta semana. Tem a assinatura da jornalista Lina Ferreira. And I'm open the coffee shop here called Terra Coffee House. Este é o Café Terra, um dos primeiros a inaugurar esta nova vaga de cafés em Macau. Aqui o café está no centro das atenções. Em particular, o chamado Specialty Coffee, o café especial. Esta corrente do Specialty Coffee trata o café como se fosse um vinho ou uma cerveja. All the chain of the coffee, from the green bean to the cup of coffee, we have the very highest standard, almost 10% of the all of the coffee bean can call it Specialty Coffee. It's like cooking. Um, if you had a finest ingredients, but you have the skill, you can cook the good food. Uh, it's, the same, it's the same way, so we have a very good quality of the coffee bean, and also we lead a professional lunch and skill. Os grãos são escolhidos e depois tratados pelo barista, geralmente um grande conhecedor de café. Alguns clientes também são conhecedores e por vezes recebem uma explicação sobre o café que estão a beber. What we are doing, what's the coffee bean, uh, what's the flavor, um, what you are drinking, uh, of that coffee, uh, we have to explain that to every customer. For some of them, I need to describe it simple, but for the other group of the customers, uh, maybe they have the more professional knowledge or they can understand the more complicated on When I was small, I don't like the coffee because, because the coffee is so bitter. Mm. Then the three years ago, I collect the specialty coffee. I think the, the coffee is bitter no more. It's just the sweet and some fruity or flower in the coffee. It's come from the coffee. Uh, I will pay maybe competition to learn the more uh, and skill knowledge about the coffee. Then I will pay, take it, come back to Macau and present uh, my customer. So I open this store. Peter Leung abriu este café há dois anos, o Crazy Barista. It's a, my, our menu. Then uh, it's a normally coffee and it's a specialty coffee. It's uh, so strange. Neste menu há, por exemplo, o expresso de Yakult, expresso de chá de rosa ou de manga. Há também a última grande moda do mundo, o café, o café com nitrogênio. Then it's a some seed. And at life, maybe some fans to pay the live music. Yeah. Then it's our, it's our coffee machine. Uh, customer, that means which flavor I can change. Maybe it's a high acidity, high sweetness, or it's an old school, it's come from bitter. Também aqui é feito o Specialty Coffee, o café especial. Mas Vida Leon gosta sobretudo de fazer experiências com o café. São bebidas personalizadas a pensar nos clientes. What what you want? That you you can make it. Then uh, the customer like it, I will make it more. I will drink uh, 100 times or 1000 times then just make uh, one best coffee then So I cost me is crazy very surreal because I drink too many coffee every day. Mas a cultura do café não é nova em Macau. I think when I arrived in Macau there was very clearly a local cafe culture. Um, part of that was Portuguese coffee shops, Portuguese cafes, and like I said there were three of them 
right around the Sonato Square area in an, just by itself. Three, three different ones that I would go to that are all gone now. Um, there was also an indigenous uh, Cha Chan Tang culture, which is a kind of Chinese, local Hong Kong and Macau style Chinese cafe. Um, so, so it's very common, it was very common for people to sit around in cafes and read the newspaper and talk to each other. Tim Simpson, professor universitário, fez um estudo antropológico sobre os cafés de Macau como exemplo das mudanças da cidade. Then one day I was walking across the Sonato Square and I noticed that the, the Starbucks had opened and I, I was uh, when I came to Macau I liked the fact that there was no no such chain restaurants and coffee shops in Macau there was no Starbucks and uh, very little of, of those kind of places. So when I saw the first Starbucks open, I thought this is going to be the beginning of the end of everything I liked about Macau. And for the first two weeks, there was a, a queue all the way outside of Starbucks down the square. Everybody in Macau queued up to try Starbucks one time. And then after two weeks, nobody went there again. They all realized it was just, just a coffee shop. Um, but in the space of one year, All of the Portuguese coffee shops that I used to go to, which were around that same area, they all closed down. And then Starbucks picked up all of their business. Os entendedores de café consideram o Starbucks a segunda geração de cafés. A terceira geração são estes novos cafés, são negócios locais geridos por conhecedores. They're different from uh, the cafés from 15 years ago because the The owners of the new cafes are much more knowledgeable about coffee, about the experience of drinking coffee and how to make uh, pictures on the cream on top of the coffee and so on. And they're also interested in teaching that to other people. Mas para saber isto tudo é preciso estudar. E tudo começa aqui, nos bancos da escola. In university, I've been like drinking uh, coffee during that time, and I want just know more about what kind of coffee is my favorite and how they did make the coffee. Este é um curso da Coffee Lover Association. Tudo começa por uma aula teórica. Depois das aulas teóricas seguem-se as práticas em que os alunos usam as máquinas, as cafeteiras e os filtros. Aqui os alunos podem fazer diferentes tipos de cursos, desde o mais básico até conseguir certificados internacionais. E este ano a associação vai organizar o primeiro concurso de café sifão. Um, we will holding and holding on July of 24. It's talk about sifão, like we pay, the competition paying sifão, and they have to um, show and present their coffee in the best way, like. And also because I'm making different aroma, different flavors. Way down among Brazilians, coffee beans grow by the billions. So they've got to find those extra cups to fill. They've got an awful lot of coffee in Brazil. O café sifão é feito nestas cafeteiras em balão, que utilizam a transferência térmica a vácuo, uma técnica inventada no século XIX para fazer cerveja. Actually, it's the traditional coffee in Macau is bitter, but 10 years ago I'm I'm traveling in Japan. I taste my first sifão in Japan, and that coffee is very special. Actually, it's not bitter. It's like a juice, it's, it's a little bit sweet, um, it's juicy. It's changed my opinion of the coffee. 
Foi precisamente o sifão que trouxe Jo Leung até ao mundo do café e até estes cursos da associação Coffee Lover. Hoje, Jo Leung é um veterano desta escola e até já participou num concurso internacional no Japão. Leung trabalha na restauração e diz que para os jovens de Macau o mais popular é o café latte, o café com leite. E aqui surge a arte de desenhar o café latte, arte que tem também direito a curso próprio, dado nesta associação. Macau, people will, will like to, to drink latte because uh, the coffee shop to serve the latte with latte art, yeah, that people can can take the photo and then upload to Facebook and then they WeChat like this, right? This is the the culture. My friend, he said, oh, I, if I, I can make the, the, the beautiful latte art to serve my girlfriend, it's very well, right? <laughs> so everybody can, can check in everywhere on Facebook and see what everyone else is doing. Um, there's this kind of focus on having experiences which can be understood and consumed transnationally by people all over the world. And people are starting, and myself included, go there regularly to those places as part of our everyday life, just because we enjoy the experience of being there. But certainly, part of their appeal to young people in Macau is that they have a certain bohemian or hipster image, which is very much part of the fun of going there. I came back to Macau and work in a 4A's advertising agency, so for two years. But for working in an advertising agency, it's exhausted. Like you need to like work uh, 12 hours a day or even sometimes 14 hours a day. So I really feel exhausted and I quit the job, decided. So I, during that period, I was thinking, what should I do in my future? A resposta estava na própria família. A família de Alvinau tinha um pequeno café há duas gerações e uma forma especial de fazer café típica de Macau. So you see we are using charcoal and also the clay pot here. So uh, we put coffee beans actually inside that this pocket. And then we take around like 10 minutes for five cups of coffee. So we have to uh, brew it for two times. I think the reason why using charcoal is because gas and electricity is not that popular at that moment. And also clay pot has a uh, good way to preserve the taste of the coffee. Foi então que o publicitário Alvinal pegou no negócio da família e nesta forma tradicional de fazer café e juntou-lhe duas tendências, a moda do café e a nostalgia do passado e criou uma nova marca de café, sobretudo virada para os jovens. For the logo, logo we, I got some friends, which is because I work in advertising before, many friends are designers. So I restart, when, when I decided to start the business, I talked with them and we come up with a lot of ideas. Should we use a very old style or we add some contemporary elements on it? So uh, uh, at the end, we come up, we are using a contemporary one, but we, we preserve some uh, retro elements on it. So we can see the touch up and also the decoration of our shop. It is also because our market is teenagers. That's why we use contemporary uh, with the retro style. So they, it's more acceptable by them. Adolescentes são a esmagadora maioria dos clientes da CK, 85%. O mesmo se passa no Crazy Barista. Uh, customers is more teenagers. They like the coffee more than the tea. Uh, maybe it's an image. Yeah. A coffee soft is the maybe relax, so so. Just my style. <laughs> For me and my partner, Ron, uh, we uh, love of different culture, um, just music or, or, or fo photo taking. And we do the jazz show monthly. Uh, 
people come here not only enjoy the coffee but also enjoy the environment, the music, and all the things bring from the coffee shop. A moda do café em Macau. A reportagem alargada da TDM volta na próxima sexta-feira. Até lá, tenha uma boa semana.